So can I do what the Pixel 4 is doing on my current smartphone or camera? Of course! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today let's talk about the Pixel 4 but before that thank you very much for subscribing we are 10,000 subscribers I never imagined that that could happen thank you very much so most of you are interested in astrophotography as well as mobile photography by the success of how to photograph the Milky Way with the smartphone I am assuming that and because of that I am forced to talk about the Pixel 4 and the astrophotography feature. This video is not a video review of the Pixel 4. First of all, I don't have the phone because here in Europe we don't have access to the Pixel 4. And second, I won't buy a phone just to make a review of a feature of an app from that phone. So I'm, I can't do that, okay? So Google, if you are seeing this, uh, please send me one. Yeah, just send me one Pixel 4 and I will test it. So this video is just my knowledge how to photograph the Milky Way and my opinion on the astrophotography option on the Google Pixel. My first impression is very cool. Let's check the science and see how this works. So it's very basic how it works. It's taking 16 photos of 15 seconds each and at the end, it's recovering all the light information or the correct term it's called stacking into one image, taking in account the lens distortion and the movement of the stars. Because, yeah, the, the, the stars will move on the sky and it's compensating for that. The result of this uh, different exposures and this production post-production work is that it's a style trail free image of effectively 240 seconds or four minutes of total shutter. That is a lot. I'm not sure how much ISO the app it's using, but for a long exposure like this, be able to use a lower ISO, you will get a noise free photo. Let's see, most of my shots of the Milky Way is 3200 ISO with a 35 or 30 seconds of shutter speed in my DSLR. Making the math from 30 seconds to 240 seconds, it gets more four stops of light. And to get the same exposure, you have to reduce the ISO a lot, like four stops of light. And that ISO will be 400. So 400 on a smartphone, it's not a noisy image. Very well. This is great. In fact, it's very similar as a night mode works, but with a bunch of asteroids. And the night mode uses a faster shutter because it's used to be used handheld and not extremes as astrophotography is. In the end, this tool gives you less noise for a longer exposure. That's the basic of it. So stacking, in astrophotography isn't a new technique. Google didn't invent that. It actually came from good old days of film. Still today, advanced technology still use uh, the stacking features. For example, the Hubble telescope dash satellite dash camera does stacking photos to get really deep space photos. So stacking, it's a great um, way to get low noise images and sharp images in deep space. So can I do what the Pixel 4 is doing on my current smartphone or camera? Of course! Just take like a lot of photos on a tripod and combine them in Deep Sky Stacker. It's a free software for Windows that can stack... I just noticed that my button is not buttoned. And combine them or stack them on Deep Sky Stacker. It's a free software for Windows that can do all the post-production that the Pixel makes and probably will be even better than the Pixel 4, okay? So check YouTube, check Google. There is a lot of tutorials that you can follow along and it's really simple to do. So you guys may be wondering why I don't do 
stacking photography, deep space stacking photography. First of all, for the Mikkel way, the cameras today, like my 6D, it's so good in low noise. I can use 3200 ISO and I know that I can remove the noise on post-production easily, okay? And it's just one exposure, it's good enough. Also, for cameras that can go with a crazy bunch of ISO, be extremely careful because you can overexpose the Milky Way in one exposure with a crazy ISO if your camera can do a low, a low noise, high ISO picture. So in the description, I'll leave you some reviews of this smartphone tool. Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and a few days ago I tweeted a couple of photos I'd taken using the Pixel 4 in my back garden. And loads of you asked me if I would make a video about it. So here we are, and if you do enjoy this video then... Be... And if you are wondering why they aren't getting a great image of the Milky Way as I made with the uh, LG G5 or the OnePlus 6T with a single exposure, as I did in my How to Photograph the Milky Way with a smartphone. In that tutorial, I am using one single exposure. It's because my pre-production work, like uh, checking out where the moon is, uh, the light pollution, was better than what they did. Do your homework, people. Do your homework. That's the best thing to get a really good astrophotography picture. Except DP review. Those photos are amazing. Now, those guys did the correct thing and they have an amazing picture of the Milky Way using the Pixel 4. Especially for a smartphone, whoa. Okay, Pixel 4, do you have a lot of potential there? So I am just uh, screen recording my tablet over here. And let me just show you the pictures in full screen. Thank you. And look at this. Beautifully. So well done. Um, DP review for the lovely pictures that they made with this um, with this phone. Check out the article. It's not a video review. It's an article in the description. Would I buy the Pixel 4 because of this camera app feature? No. First of all, it's an open source technique based on that app. So I won't be surprised if more brands add this feature in the near future on their phones. If the public shows that they are interested, I'm pretty damn sure that they will add that feature. It's not that hard to add that feature on a, on a phone. Just to prove my point, there is an update for the Pixel 3 and 2 to get the astrophotography feature. So it's a software option. And for me, especially for me, the most important thing picking up on the phone is First, the price, second, the screen, after the processor, and at the end, the battery. As you can see in my camera choosing options, there is no camera. I don't care that much about the camera on the phone. Now, if astrophotography is really your thing, for the price of the Pixel 4, you can get a Canon M50, and with luck, you can get also a 7 Artisans wide angle, fast aperture uh, for the same price. Okay, and you will get way better photos and options of photography because you are controlling everything, including the stocking uh, uh, option. You can do it on that very cheap camera. Also, Sony Alpha 6000, it's actually very, very good, big sensor camera. So yeah, I want to see more phones adding that feature because I like that people uh, even not photographers, I mean amateurs, go out and pick their phones and go out, take pictures and see the value of and how hard it's to make some type of pictures. Because you have to put your effort into it to get really cool images. Drop a like if you learned something, leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'm Miguel, until next time, see ya. We are, by nature, explorers. The 
same curiosity that sends us to the stars at the speed of thought. Urges us to go there in reality. And whenever we make a great new leap, we elevate humanity. Bring people and nations together. Usher in new discoveries. And new technologies. <laughs> <laughs>